Welcome to The Daily Dish, I'm Shay Passa. Today in She Knows Family, keeping our kids safe. According to the Office of Juvenile Justice, a child is reported missing every 40 seconds. If you've ever lost sight of your child for even a minute, you know the fear and terror that can overcome you. Well, joining us today to help us understand some basic safety measures is lifestyle expert Erica Gavada. Welcome, Erica. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. So what are some things that we can be teaching our kids about safety, especially the younger ones? Well, you need to set some boundaries with your kids. Let them know that not anyone can pick them up from school, that it has to be designated people, and the fact that strangers don't necessarily have to look like a monster. They they can look like the neighbor next door. And just keeping them aware of specific scenarios, you know, don't accept candy from strangers, don't help someone look for their lost puppy, or check out a new video game inside their home. They need to have specific boundaries and follow them in the spirit of safety. Excellent, excellent. And God forbid someone actually does take them. What can you teach your children about responding to something like that? Well, this is when politeness and manners goes out the window. When it comes to their boundaries and safety, they need to yell. They need to bring attention to themselves and emphasize the fact that this is not a loved one. This is not a friend or mom or dad. Yes. This is a stranger who is touching me yes. and everyone needs to be aware of this right. fact. Right, yes, and it's not just a temper tantrum. That's very, very important. Now, are there some technologies that can help us as well? Yes, there's one called the Amber Alert Registry and what this is is a proactive web tool for parents to keep their child's information current as they grow. And you can have uh, their height, their weight, even an updated photo, any medical conditions they may have. And when that 911 call is placed to police, they can access this database and print out an updated flyer within minutes of getting the call. Well, that seems so smart because when your child is actually missing, the last thing you want to do is be having to put this information together. So you're exactly. just too stressed out. Yeah, that critical time to really initiate critical. an appropriate response. Excellent. What else? The identity label is another one I wanted to tell you about. This is great for school field trips or even daycare. It's a temporary tattoo application that you can put anywhere on a child's body okay. that um, essentially has either their medical information or their phone number if they don't know their phone number yet. Yeah. So basically in the event that they're separated from a group, this has some valuable information when they need to reach out for help. Oh, that's really, really important, especially for those little ones that don't know their number, like you say. And they love tattoos, so they're, gonna, they're yes. not going to fight you on <laughs> Well, thank you for the wonderful information, Erica. We appreciate thank it. Thank you. For more great family safety tips, be sure to check out our parenting channel. We have some special features there brought to you by AT&T. I'm Shay Pasta. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Today's Daily Dish was sponsored by AT&T. Locate your family members with the AT&T Family Map. Get peace of mind and know where your kids are. Thanks for watching She Knows TV. Look for more of the Daily Dish at SheKnows.com.